All right. What's up guys, it's Kaylin and I am back with another video. Today's video is going to be a new, uh, I guess it's kind of like a kickback. It's gonna be just a chit chat video. Oh, I was supposed to make tea, hold on. Moments later. Oh, shit. All right, so we are back. Hey y'all, what's up? Today's video is going to be a kickback. Celebrating. Celebrating, I don't know. That's the right word. Commemorating. The fact that we have been in this panorama for a whole year. A whole year. Y'all, a whole year. When I say we, let me really say me. Because some of y'all been outside. And that's no shade, but some of y'all been outside. The city of Atlanta to the stage. Yeah, a year ago, I my world, as I knew it, stopped. Like my world completely halted and I have learned some things over that process and I know we all have but I really wanted to just sit down and talk about the things that I've learned over the quarantine. Normally I would do a year in review or like a new year's tag kind of video however this year the new year really didn't feel like the new year it really just felt like a continuation of 2020 so I didn't really feel comfortable making it and now that we're starting to be like at the end of the quarantine I felt it was time to make it and it's been a year it's been a year now so I was like this has been a full year of this kind of new sense. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into the video. But before we do that, I want to welcome, I want to welcome all the new people. Hey, what's up guys? If you guys are new here, if you've never seen my face before, heard my name before, I'm Kaylin. I make men's lifestyle and entertainment videos. So you will see anything from style and fashion tips, grooming tips, all the way to reaction and entertainment videos. I'm your guy, I'm here to entertain you. I am here for your entertainment. And all I ask in exchange is a subscribe. A notification bell, you know, if you're feeling fancy. And yeah, share this video, comment. I like to talk to you guys. Y'all are my homies, y'all are my friends. So I wanna talk to you guys in the comments. Um, let me know your things, your thoughts about anything because these videos are, like I said, for you guys. So yeah. Okay, but let's just jump right into the top. I got my notes. So I have seven things right here that I really learned. There's no particular order, not anything that like outweighs anything. None of these things are like in a hierarchy. Um, but these are just things that like I've really been harped on or like I've been forced to reconcile with over the last year. And I also may add some things at the end of this. This will be very chitty, chatty. So yeah, just walk along, you know, be here. So the first thing that I've learned is that I really enjoy my space. I am such an extrovert. If you meet me in person, if you know me in real life, you know that I am such an extrovert. Like I will talk to any fucking body and I'm so friendly. And that's just normally my thing. I do like company. I do like company, especially company that I really enjoy. I do like company and I like being around people. However, comma, as y'all know, with me and my roommates, any roommates that I've ever had, living with people, people in my immediate space, I do have a newfound honor and respect for that. I think beforehand, especially when I was in college and like when I first moved to LA, I didn't really have a concept of that just because a, it was always expected back home that I lived with my parents, like, duh. Then when I went to college, of course I had roommates, like I wasn't living on my own, and it really wasn't necessarily feasible, not feasible, but I wasn't really interested in necessarily living on my own, like, it was kind of like a thought here and there, but it was like, I mean, girl, like, why? Like, just live with, like, you can have one roommate, like, have as little roommates as possible, like, I didn't want, like, four roommates, but I was like, if I have one or two, I'm okay with it. But now, over this past year, I really, really have come to the realization that I just need my own space. I love waking up in the morning and like silence. I love waking up in the morning and like being able to just have a morning routine by myself, not be interrupted by anybody else. I love being able to wake up in the morning and have like my own schedule and just like be able to decompress and be in my own head, my own thoughts, listen to my music, listen to my podcast, listen to whatever the hell I'm listening to in the morning and it just be what I want to do and just me. I love just, yeah, having my own space and I, I, like my space right now, it's like even having friends over because I do have roommates, it's been part of the problem, but it's like because it's just in my room and I'm just like, oh, I don't want that many people just in my room. Like I... Would love to have like, just be able to have people in my living room. Yeah, just having my own space. I love that. Honoring the fact that my own, my space is my space and making it my own was a, a new thing as well. Because as a kid, I didn't really have the autonomy to have my own space. Like, I mean, to a degree, yes, but like me and my mom shared a door growing up. So it's like, my room was connected to my mom's room. So like my space was never really my space, you know? Like this ain't my house. So I gotta have other people's rules. And that's normal kid stuff. Like that's not anything that's like 
isolated just to me, but like I specifically did not have like a lot of autonomy over my space. Like I was able to paint my room once in my life and like it was because we were just repainting the whole house. Like, like what color do you want, you know? But I really didn't have that autonomy as a kid. When I went to college, of course, I did have a lot more autonomy and I started noticing things that I liked to like that were separate from my household. It was like, oh, how do I operate with these things? How do I want these things? But it really wasn't my focus because I was in school. Now over the quarantine, I really just, I mean, hell, I've just been here. I've just been here. I've been in, the, in, in, in this. So I just really realized, how do you want your fucking space? Like, and at the beginning of the quarantine, thankfully I had re, re just did my room because beforehand my, my space just looked a hot mess and I was just relatively new to this space but it was a hot mess was not this right now and I'm so comfortable in this space like I love coming home like every time I come home from being away for so long I'm like oh wow I just a sense of comfort and like it's me like this my room feels like me my room feels like my space and I love that I like to have people in my space but like when I think when I want it when I want it and that's what I've learned another thing that I've learned was that a bitch was tired. I'm tired, boss. Oh my God. It's because, of course we all go through grade school one through 12, but I didn't, I wasn't one of those kids that had a gap year in between high school and college. And I knew not a lot of people really did that I knew of. Some people did, I, I didn't have it. But when I got through college, I immediately got through college and I moved here a month after I graduated college. So then my life was completely flipped around. I was like busting everywhere and I always was just on the go every single day and it was just non-stop go for 24 years. So it just felt like I just been on these missions, but it was always like, somebody else's duties. Like I was like, I was doing school work. I was doing work for a job. Like I've also had a job since I was 16. So I've been like in school, working in organizations, in theater, in film acting, like going, like doing things all of the time, doing photography, doing you, trying to do YouTube videos. Like I was always doing shit. I don't know about you, but I definitely discredit myself a lot. I The imposter syndrome happens all the time for me. Like. I could name so many accolades that I've had or so many things that I've accomplished and somebody might be like, oh my God, that's, dang, you're really doing it. And I'm like, girl, I think I'm a bum. I mean, I was at one point in time doing 19 hours in school. I was working a part-time job. I was in theater, which required me to, I was in a show at that time. And I also was like trying to run an organization. Like I was helping run this organization on campus. So, I was doing a hell of a lot of shit and trying to make YouTube videos <laughs> and trying to figure out how at some point in time in life I was moving to California. So I was just always doing shit. And I really was like, oh, I mean, I'm, psh, I thought I was lazy at that point. I was like, what the hell are you doing? Like, I really was discrediting myself for so long. And I think this year I really got that time to sit and just be like, not feel bad about it. It was like, there isn't anything for you to do, Kaylin. Like I was constantly feeling bad. Like I should be doing something. I should be doing this or what can I do? How can I get acting jobs? Or how can I take classes? Or how can I do, how, how, how can I do something? But I was like, Kaylin, it's okay. Relax. Do, it's a Ponda replay. Like sit, it's okay. Well, like I truly just never had the chance to sit and I realized that I was tired. Like I realized that like I was sleeping, like maybe even depressed to a degree because I was just in such a go mode for so long. And I was just so used to like isolating myself or compartmentalizing myself and what I was going through and not really focusing on me and just trying to get tasks done for so long that when I got to sit, it really just made me confront a lot of things. But I also, one of the things that I confronted was that I was tired. Like I was tired and that's okay. Like that's not a bad thing. Like you have been working, you have done things, you have created so many things. You are, you are on the right path. You can chill out and that's okay. Like you're not lazy. Like when shit goes back, you know how to, you know how to hustle, you know how to get money, you know how to do all these things and you will get all the things that you deserve. But take this time to focus on you because I never had the time.
to that point, the other thing that I learned was that I didn't really know myself. I mean, I knew who I was. Like I could say my name, my birthday, all that shit. But I didn't know like me, like how I do anything. Like I didn't really know what I really, really was doing things for. Like I knew, yes, I'm, I knew that I was an actor because I, I wanted to entertain and I wanted to be able to provide for my family. I knew that I came from Texas and like my, I was a gay man and like my space within that, my levels of privileges. Like I knew those things, but I know the internal shit. Like I know that sometimes I am sad and I just want a fucking cupcake and I'm gonna get me a cupcake. I didn't know that like my communication skills are not bad. It's my confrontation skills that are bad. I don't know how to deal with confrontation well. I don't know how to deal with other people's ideas going against mine. I don't know how to deal with that. I don't know how to deal with, like, I don't like cleaning. I don't like doing, like, it's just like so many little shits that I just realized. I was like, Kaylin, like, what do you like and what do you dislike? What like and be okay with that. I didn't really know things that like really affected me from like my childhood. I didn't really pay attention to things that like were triggers. I didn't really pay attention to why I'm doing things the way that I'm doing them. I didn't really have time to sit and focus on those things at all. And I never really took even accountability. Like I didn't really understand like I know how to take accountability for my actions when I hurt somebody, but I don't know how to take accountability for things when I'm hurting myself. I don't know how I to take accountability for my surroundings, like, and what's going on in that regard. Like, I know how to, like, take care of myself, but taking accountability was always, like, I was be either beating myself up or I was completely ignoring it. Like, it wasn't a healthy relationship with accountability. And I don't want people to think that I was just, like, irresponsible. That wasn't the case. But it was just finding a healthy balance within things, within accountability. I... I do get irritable like and what does that stem from or what are my boundaries and what is my structure like I am a I pfft, structure pfft, I ain't had that shit I not have that shit like I ain't building that shit today like I'm still building structure today but I didn't really understand that I didn't have structure I was used to being in structured environments but I didn't have structure so I didn't understand how processes work, like within my own life or how, like I, the concept of just like baby steps was like just such a foreign concept, but it, it's like, yes, nigga, baby steps, like you gotta keep going, but it's okay if you only went this far today. Like I would be the person that's like, I set goals on Sunday to execute Monday through Friday. By Tuesday, I'm like, oh, fuck, I didn't do something. So it's like, oh, fuck the week. Like I can't do it. Like I'm clearly, I. I clearly can't keep anything under control. And it's like, Kaylin, baby steps. You did get X, Y, and Z done the Monday. You did get all of these things done. And the things you couldn't get done were because of X, Y, Z, and that's okay. Do them today and then add another few things today. And you, you now completed other things. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't understand just structure within the fact that like you have to fucking clean every day like you have to clean up your house every day or else it's gonna be a mess i didn't understand because i wasn't the person that was like every every friday i'm cleaning up it was just kind of like whenever i felt like it i'm cleaning up whenever i felt that something was kind of off or if i felt like my room was just too dirty myself i didn't have like a system i didn't have a system for things so things would get out of control and it's like now my life is out of control and now everything's out of control and now i can't focus and now I'm just gonna shut down and be in my bed. Another thing is that I love my bed. I realized that I really love my bed. I get comfort in my bed, but I love my bed so much that I, I will just do nothing. I'll be in my bed doing nothing. I love just being in the bed sleeping. I'm such a sleeper, like I love sleep, but I didn't understand having a sleep schedule is, is important. Like I just kind of, whenever I went to sleep, I went to sleep and I knew when I had to wake up. But I had to be there at X, Y, Z time. Like I was good at being somewhere at a certain time if I if I need to, but I wasn't good at having the system of having a bedtime. Like I just kind of went to bed whenever the hell I wanted to. And yeah, it's just little things like, little shit like that that has just really made me be like, okay, what? how do you operate? Let's figure out how you operate and focus on that and master that. But it's okay. You didn't have it before, but you can make it now. Make those habits now. 
and that's what we're doing. Another big thing that I found out this year was how I love. So I had such a concept of love and th growing up, my family is very unconditional with their love. And so I just had, you know, I wasn't the person that was like, I just accept any family member just doing whatever. If y'all messing up, then I just, I can't be around you. So that was me, but my parents are so, loving unconditionally and my parents care for me so 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 much and so i knew how family loved worked as far as that goes and my relationship with that and i knew how friends worked but i didn't really know like how i'm doing this like i knew i make friends and i'm friendly but in breaking down like how i receive love i also understood how i give love like why do i do the things that i do like this is it be is it because of how my family taught me to love is it because of i just receive things like this so i want to give things like this you know i didn't understand that concept really well and i didn't really understand i never had a boyfriend before and through the quarantine i had a boyfriend spoiler you guys never ever saw i mean i'm not in the relationship anymore but it taught me so much like that like it taught me so much it taught me how to even be a friend with somebody like when you love them like how does that work like being in love with somebody or or having so much love for somebody and where does that fall like does that mean you need to date them does it mean you just need to be friends with them sexually y'all are compatible but does that mean that you need to have an, an intimate relationship with them on this level like how do you receive love in a relationship how do i give love in relationships that i learned but I never had any idea beforehand. And, and being in a pandemic, the only person I could hang out with was my boyfriend at the time. So I really got to know, like, how do you, if you want to be in a relationship, you love the idea of relationships. You love the idea of having a husband and a family and like that idea, but on the real, like, I mean, bitch, how, how does that work though? Like, you don't know how that works. You don't know how that operates. So it's like, how, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You know? Seeing it in the street world is, is one thing, but I have not seen it in the gay world. Like me personally, not saying that love does not exist outside of my scope of reference, but I don't know any gay couples that have been together 25 years, you know? Like that have kids, like that are adults now. Like I don't, I don't know that and so i didn't see that growing up i didn't i don't have anybody around me that's doing that so i have this idea that i could do that but it's like what does that look like for you what are your standards in relationships what do you want in relationships what are your needs in relationships i didn't know any of that so quarantine really taught me how that operates and what that looks like for me quarantine also taught me that bitch the world could end tomorrow you cannot take shit so seriously like I used to, <sighs> I'm definitely not a person that gets mad. Let me say this correctly. I am definitely not a person that gets mad often, like furious often, but I get annoyed extremely easily. And I mean annoyed, like I am upset annoyed, but it's like, it'll go away. Like something happening in traffic, like will piss me off for like t 10 minutes. It was one incident that happened in traffic and it's like, now I'm annoyed, like why the you do that or people saying stupid stuff i'm just like that really bothered me but it's like by the next day do i remember it probably not but in that moment i was just so upset about it or i was stressed about situations that i had no control over or stressing about people that I had i had no control over or stressing about things that were of no concern of mine anyway and it was just like i was doing that so much and then I realized like, bitch, why do you care so much? Like, it's not that deep. Like some things are that deep and you need to fight for those things. But also at the end of the day, you cannot stress yourself out that much, girl. Like you have to get a grip. And this is not to say that like anybody with chronic anxiety or like, like anybody with big A anxiety, like I get anxious. I am definitely an anxious person. I haven't been diagnosed with anxiety. So I don't want people thinking that like, you can just say, get it together, bitch, and anxiety is gonna happen. That's not how that works. But I know that I do have, like, there was a point where I wasn't like that. And so somewhere along the lines, I got really anxious and I had to figure out like, what are my triggers? What are the things? Go back to the point earlier. But also within that is just learning to not take everything to heart, not taking everything so serious. Yeah, I know I got a Pisces moon. So I really be like, ooh, ooh. And the rest of my chart, which we'll get into in another video, but the rest of my chart really be just be like, ooh. 
this really bothered me. This affected me for like a short amount of time, but it affected me though. Oh my God. And like, it's not the deep. It's just not the deep. Like, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go. Let it go. 2020 also allowed me to realign myself with my purpose. And I wanna, this is probably one of those things that I wanna like stress about. You know, I wanna harp on this. Because I always knew what I wanted to do, which is I am an actor. I wanna provide entertainment for people. I want to help the world in some way. I wanna leave the world better than the way I found it. I wanna inspire people through stories that they can relate to and align with. I want to provide for my family. But I really didn't understand that all of the miscellaneous doesn't doesn't always aid that purpose. And what, what am I doing on a daily basis to align myself with my purpose? And that's something that I, I really, it goes back with the structure thing because my daily habits needs to be aligning with what I, my purpose is in my head. Like, I feel like these are all of the things that I need to be doing, but what am I doing on a daily basis that is aiding me to get there? Like, I was so used to doing things to survive and not doing things to thrive within my purpose. I was so good at surviving the situation. I was good at finding a job when I needed money. I was good at finessing the grades. I was good at finessing this i was good at like getting by with this and i was good at acing this but i wasn't doing things because i was trying to excel in my purpose more so to just get past the obstacle and that that little shift really really helped me a lot it was definitely when i realized that i was like okay then don't think of these things that you're doing as tasks. Think of these things, like these are things you wanna do. Like going to the gym prior was such a task. I was just like, ugh, my God, I'm going to the gym today, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Oh my God, I'm gonna eat this, this healthy food, like whatever, ugh, I gotta read this book today. Because I was so used to just doing those things normally just to get by with stuff. But now it's like, you gotta play, like, I'm trying to be on somebody's TV show. They gonna try to cast me as somebody who's 16, but they, the, we all know that the 16 year olds that they got on the TV shows is not what you look like at 16. So these 16 year olds be ripped, they be bodies on 10, they got facial hair, all these things. And I was like, their skin is good. And I'm like, what am I? I'm doing skincare, but I'm just doing skincare because I think that's the thing to do. Not because it's like, oh no, 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 that is the standard. Like. You need, like, if you want to be on TV, these are the things that you need to be doing. Like, this will help you. This will do nothing but help you. These are the things you want to do, so these are things that are going to help you. Like, working out is a part of your routine, and it helps you. Like, it's a good thing. It's something that you like being active. Okay, go to the gym. It's going to help you in the long run. You need to read this book. Okay, yeah, because you're trying to produce something. So you need to be educated on this because you love the subject. So just read the book. Like, it's not a hard thing. Just read the book because you already are interested in it and you know every time you read it, you have a good time. But I'm so used to like, okay, the syllabus says you have to have XYZ pages today read, so be... And I'm like, that just, it triggered me. But it's like, no, these are things you want to do. This is the time where you get to do the things you want to do. So just do them. Just do them. Don't think of them as tasks. Don't think of them as like hard things you get to Just do the things you want to do. These are the things you wanna do. These are the things that you have to do in order to get it done. So just do the things you gotta do, you know? That's realigning my with myself with my purpose was like a big, big thing last year because now I ain't doing shit I don't wanna do. I'm doing shit that I, I'm only doing shit that I wanna do. Like I am, do, like I am now only doing shit that I wanna do because I wanna do a lot of cool shit. I wanna make, I'm gonna make a lot of cool ass content. I'm gonna inspire a lot of fucking people. I'm gonna help I'm gonna help a lot of fucking people. I'm gonna reach so many fucking goals. But I gotta do X, Y, and Z, and that's okay because I'm doing the work. I'm doing the work for me though. I'm not doing the work for anybody else. That's why I didn't want to do corporate America. That's why I didn't want to do like 
the alternative routes to get here. I was like, this is what I want to do. I've always done everything that everybody else wanted me to do, but this is what I want to do. And the shit that I've been doing is cool. The shit that I've been doing is like, it's cool shit, it's good quality. So keep doing that because somebody's gonna see it. Somebody's gonna see it and they're gonna give you that opportunity to showcase yourself in larger rooms, in larger settings, in larger platforms. And you're just gonna keep going up and up. But that's the way that you need to do it. Stop trying to figure out something that you gotta be doing when it's like, just do the shit that you wanna do. Cause it's good. So do it, bitch. That was my 2020 though. How was yours? Let me know about yours. That's what the, now, you know, I'm asking you, comment. How you feel? Did you relate to anything that I, I said? Because I know there's some things we gotta relate on. Like we all out here together. We, so let me know. But that's really it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as I always say, you stay cute, you stay classy, and you stay kind. And I'll see you in my next video.